Okay, to do this problem, it's not a hard one, but it's really messy. So the, uh, the most important thing is you got to keep track of what's happening to each term. So what I'm drawing here is what I call underbelly lines. Okay, you got to get 3x times each one of the terms. And then you're going to do the top hat lines. You're going to do 1 minus 1 times each one of those terms. So totally, you should have six terms. Okay, and then you're going to simplify those six terms. So let's try it. 3x times 4x squared, that's 12x to the cube, right? That's the first term. Next one, I have minus 6x squared, okay? and then I have a minus 3x, because it's 3x times minus 1. Now, watch what I do carefully after this line. On the hat one, I have minus 1 times 4x squared. I'm going to write it instead of over here, keep on writing, and then try to look for it. I'm going to stack them. I'm going to stack the term that's look like x squared and x squared look like. So I'm going to stack them. Minus 1 times this one is minus 4x squared. Minus 1 times this one, it's going to give me a positive 2x because 2 minus sign, when they multiply, they give you a positive. Minus 1 times minus 1, you have a plus 1. Okay. Here, the big advantage comes very clearly. So here, I don't have to look for any terms. I'm just going to combine them from here. Now, minus 6 plus minus 4, it's like thinking this way. You owe $6, and you owe another 4. You, now you have altogether minus $10, right? And then over here, you have you owe 3, and you earned $2 back, so now you only owe $1, because it's really 1, and then plus 1. So here's your answer, all right? That wasn't too bad. Have a confident day.